Hi, welcome to my channel Coding Skills. In this video, you will see how we can check given two strings are isomorphic or not. Basically, what exactly isomorphic means if the two strings are called isomorphic, if all the characters in the first string are exactly mapped to the same characters in the second string. And no two characters in the first string should map to same characters in the second string. So if you take an example, if you are entering the strings A, B, C and X, Y, Z, here both the strings are called isomorphic because A is mapping to X and B is mapping to Y and C is mapping to C. So let's see how we can implement the same by using a Eclipse editor. Creating new Java class. Collecting public static void method. To create some data, creating instance scanner and mapping it to string. Printing a message on the console that question there's a print of it, string one. By using the client method, we can read the string value. So let's print another message. There is a front end, second string. Declaring a value of two and reading a value. Once we have these two values ready, so let's create a separate function and we will pass these two values. That function is going to perform the actual check. Pass for the string value. That's ten is to boolean tag. The default I am returning false. Here we are going to check the actual logic. Can return false. What does this mean? If the both string lengths are not matching, then we don't need to proceed with the comparison at all. So we can simply say that return false because those are not isomorphic strings. Else, we perform the actual check. So I'm going to create a map object. Or nested inputs so that I'll get the respect input statement. Equal to zero. So you can use str1 dot length or str2 dot length because both the string lengths are same. Then only you'll enter into this block. Is going to give us the character each and every character based on the index that we are supplying. The same way, I'm getting the value from the string to as well. So we are getting starting character from 
you both the strings in the same way until you repeat the end of the loop, string line. If contains if it is value already existing. So first time it will not enter into this block. If it is not existing, so what we are going to do? We are going to place the value inside the mark. Store the character to value. So key will be the first, um, first character from the string one and value will be the corresponding character from string two. If this is in the this is in the else case. Suppose if the map already exists the given key, then what we need to check if We are comparing with the existing value. We are getting the existing value from the map. And if that value is not equal to the, the corresponding character from the string, we are making it as a false. By default, I'm going to write it to that's all. So they are, we are going to check for the strings. Now we are going to call this particular function within a main method. This is true. I want to print. So that's all we are done with the program. Let's see how we can execute by passing different values. First string is hello and second string is hi. So both the lengths are not matching. Obviously, we get the not isomer work because it is going to enter to this particular block. Let's execute again. ABC. And if I enter X, Y, Z, you can see that. A is mapped to X and B is mapped to Y and C is mapped to Z. So then hence there's an isomer. Let me try an example. A, B, C, D, A. So X, Y, Z. One, yeah. So you can see that A is mapped to X. So obviously, the last year also should map to x. Suppose if I enter a different character here, then it's going to be non isomorphic. So let's see how. See, both are isomorphic. So let's turn it again with a different example. I'll enter a, b, c, d, a, and x, y, z. A, b, c, d, a, x, y, z, one, two. So this is going to be non isomorphic. Because here A is mapped to 2, but this A is mapped to X. Hope you are clear, right? Thanks for watching the video. In case if you are having any questions, please reach out to me in the comment section below. Please like the video and share it with your friends. Also subscribe to my channel. 
following are few other programs which are part of my channel in case if you are interested in please go through them in case if you are looking for any specific program please do reach me in the comment section below so that i'll be able to help you as early as possible thank you very much bye